So we are headed to Montgomery Bell. We've got a camper. We've got Avery. We've got Dad who's going to be sitting in the front and Mom who's going to be driving the truck. And we've got the camper on the back of the van and we were hoping to put it on the truck because of the wiring harness. We couldn't get it on the truck so boo-hoo. But we are having a wonderful bright day. Isn't that right Avery? So, I'll see you when we get my, to Montgomery, though. And my neck is already sweating. Avery. So, we are on our way to Montgomery Bell State Park. Just a short, like, 55-minute drive or 50-minute drive from our house across even... Nashville. But, uh, when I went to hook the camper up, I realized that I still hadn't bought an adapter for the wire that comes from the, uh, from the truck. So, I'm pulling the camper with the van and Sandy's driving the truck, so we have room for bikes and stuff like that, no, no, no. since it wasn't that far away. Hey girls. Hi. Who's ready to go camping? Me. Yay. So we're still on our way to Montgomery Bell, about 30 something minutes, I'm not sure. So, um, that's how long, and so i see you then. Oh, and also, Wait, I can't. <laughs> but those are trees. Okay. Here's Twinkling. I mean, Dad. I mean, Twinkling. Hi. And bye bye. So that's it. We're at Foggy Bottom uh, on our way to the park still. But Foggy Bottom is a really cool place to go put in kayaks or rafts or floats on the Harpeth River. Right there is the best place to look to put in. I'm hoping we can go there this weekend maybe or tomorrow. Well, we made it. And it's there's still light outside, which is good. I wasn't sure how much light there would be for putting up the camper. Oh my gosh, the camera's way darker than it is outside, but we arrived at Montgomery Bell. It's still daylight out. Well, and here it is. Guys, so we're here in um, at the state park wherever we we got the pop-up camper set up. Are you enjoying the pop-up, Avery? Yes. Yeah. We're sleeping in the same bed. Which is really complex. We've got this divider here, this crazy divider. Other and you can turn this into a couch, so you can sit on it. Yeah, and down. there's mom's mom. mom. There's dad. All right, guys. I didn't get any video of putting up the camper, so I'll show it to you tomorrow. We got here at like what time? Seven, like seven something. o'clock, and uh, back to camp. Picked up a spot and back the camper in there. The girls went and played on the playground a little bit while we got it kind of paid for and set up. And I had the camper back then, and I wasn't sure how far to go forward or backward. And um, so I was just sitting in the spot with the van running. It was getting dark, and then pretty soon a guy came walking across the campground. <laughs> What was his name? Terry. Terry shows up and mm -hmm. points out to us that we have our high beams, supposedly, on his camper for which 15 Luke, to 20 minutes Which or Luke is usually really good about shutting yeah, those off. So I do it was it really our, crazy that if they were left on, so we felt pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, so we apologized and, and uh, claimed first time campers, which is true oh, for us together. Out. And then, uh, you know, introduced ourselves and said thank you. And he asked, he said, stuff setting up in the dark. You guys need any help or whatever? And I said, probably, but we don't know with what yet. <laughs> and uh, we set it up pretty well. It was definitely not 15 minutes like in my video that I did, but it's set up. We've got water and electricity and the 
propane is hooked up to do the stove and the stove works and the lights are on. The girls are sleeping. So I'm gonna this is gonna be my office tomorrow slash shower. I'm gonna go take a shower and wrap it up. So what time is it right now? Like ten o'clock? No. Oh my gosh, yes. It's ten oh six. So I'm gonna get a shower and we'll get to bed and then School I'll probably morning. check Wi-Fi before I fall asleep to make sure the computer's going to work and everything. Yeah. I need to run a power cord over here for my office. And, I hope you uh, still have the Wi-Fi information because I didn't get it from Brother uh, tonight. I don't think so. It might be in the truck. So Was I'll it? probably have to go off the hot spot for the, in the morning time, but we'll check and see. All right. All right. See you in the morning. Good morning. So, I'm to turn off my alarm. I had an alarm to tell the girls to clean the rooms, but I don't have to do that because we're in the camper. Uh, we knew it was going to rain today, but I didn't think it was going to rain this much, and now the forecast says rain all day today and tomorrow. Here comes the party back from the bathroom. <laughs> It is so wet out there. Uh, we need to get yeah. the water off the canopy. Oh yeah, Grammy said we'd have to push it up and run it off. So we're gonna have to have fun in the rain. I'm taking a break from work. Uh, I've been working all morning. I had a headache, but feeling better now. We'll have to see what we can have fun on the ring. You guys have been doing school. Yeah. How's we're that going? We're good. Um, we've got a few more subjects left. Mom's not looking at this. She's not making you despair. No. Awesome. So it was lunchtime. We ate some uh, cold cut sandwiches. And now I got water in my we came down and play to play in the river for our lunch break. Yeah. My well, I want to go to the church. Yeah, we might ride our bikes up to the church here. I got water in my boots. Yeah, it's too deep for those boots, huh? Yeah, Avery's too. She got water in hers. I don't even remember what this yeah. river's called. Do you know? I don't know even. In Mile River so or something. Little. So we finished at the creek. Avery changed pants and now the girls are leading the way. Uh, I don't know where they are. Oh. What's this building? Hi. Uh oh. We're gonna go to the bathroom. All right. This is the old log house. Replica of the home of Reverend Samuel McAd McAdell. Can we go look inside? Where he with Reverend Finnis Ewing and Reverend Samuel King founded the Cumberland Presbyterian Church February 4th, 1810. Let's go look inside. Okay, let's do it. I show on my basket. Cool. And my belt. Like, ring, ring. My belt lights up. Ring, ring.
Whoa, there's a fence on it. Kids room. Kids room. Dad's room. That kept their like kids a bed, in a jail, it looks like, with the bars and fence. No, these are just like now. To keep people from getting yes. in there. I see. And this is the kitchen, and there's a wool spinning thing. I guess it was okay to keep the kids in a jail if you kept the parents in one too, huh? Yeah, but I don't think <laughs> they just put this stuff here to keep people out. Because they cool. don't want people destroying this. And they could walk right down this path to the creek to get their water. Uh, can we go back to the campus? Is that where Mom and Avery went? Uh, yeah. I suppose so. Let's, let's, look at the bathroom. let's look at this creek real quick. What bathroom? Oh, I bet there's a bathroom by that pavilion we went past. Yeah, there is. Uh -huh, okay. The um, Montgomery Bell Trail. The ore pit loop, hikers only, it says. Who else would go? Bikers? Hikers, no bikers. That could be rhyming words for one of your school lessons. I think I'm done with poetry. Oh, oh yeah? Lots of butterflies. You see it? The slinky? Flip him over. Maybe he wanted to be on the land. Now he's going to disappear. There he goes. I think he was dying on there. Oh, I don't think so. He's backing up. Maybe he doesn't want to be in the water right now for some reason. Saturday morning and we went out this morning and got last night what we did we roasted marshmallows we cooked hot dogs on the campfire went to the beach. what else oh went to the beach yeah we went we went me and Avery and mom went to the creek the yep. waterfall the creek and the waterfall and I finished working and then this morning we went and rode our bikes and collected firewood and uh Came back and got a fire started, roasted some marshmallows. And then it started pouring. Mommy cooked pouring. breakfast. You forgot the big thing, Mommy. Oh, yeah, did. Mommy cooked breakfast. Yeah. And, and that's what we're doing now. She's almost cleaned up. We're playing Mexican terrain. Right as we finished breakfast, it started pouring, so we threw things uh, underneath the tarps and stuff and came inside and I we're playing. Do this, yeah. Mexican train. Who's winning this game? Uh, yeah. We've got Harvey, four and you have five? Harvey, Daddy, and Well, it's all the little dots on your tiles. Oh, okay. We're actually all right. So, well, get rid of the biggest one. Yep. Well, we are hoping that it stops raining in, like, in the radar it looks like maybe an hour there'll be a break or, or it might stop. And that'll give us time to pack up before our checkout time at noon. So, and we got to verify that our checkout time's at noon. So, we'll do another one when we pack up and leave. So, it is still drizzling, and the rain is probably about to stop, but checkout is at noon. So, we've been putting stuff away. We've pretty much packed everything up out of the camper. I turned the fridge off right there and disconnected the cables. I got to roll up all the cables and the fresh water, and I got to dump the gray water that's in the buckets. 
Sandy is fixing up the inside, ready to go. We took the wheels off of my adjustable table and laid it down and hopefully it just fits right there. And, uh, oh, we probably should put those chairs and stuff. I wish that table would fit up here because it would be closer to the wheels. But it probably would if, well, I don't know. We'd have to play around. Anyway, with we'll figure Maybe it out. Maybe we could put the table so it's sticking up right here, and if that would come in, then the, the wheels would go that way. Maybe. I don't know. We've got to take the canopy down, put the hoses up. I guess I'll disconnect this hose. I'm just going to throw them all in the back of my pickup and clean them off when we get to the house because they are muddy and sopping wet. I forgot to show Grammy and Papa this. I bought this and it came in the day we left. This is a trailer leveler that levels side to side. And uh, there's the gray water. I, got, I guess I'll follow them over here. I'll turn this off. Oh, we've got to run that power cord back in under the bench. So there's the pilot light. I'm going to turn that to off. And it looks like it went out. So I guess that's all for that. And unplug the gray water. I guess I should have done that. that's turned on again. Turn it off. Take this bucket. Whoa. Basically got two full buckets of gray water that we need to dump at the dump site on the way out. Because that one is too. What? I think that it's probably go time because it's thundering really bad. I think the yeah. storm is coming. So we need to just get this stuff in the car and get this down. Okay. Canopy me that so I can put it in here. Well we got all packed up in a muddy rainy mess. Got to get the van hooked up and then should be ready to take off. We're uh, both a little wet and muddy but <laughs> trying to get all cleaned up. I just rinsed my feet. And it is pouring now. It's been quite fun <laughs> getting all set up and well I should say torn down <laughs> anyways this is what we got to uh, deal with while we were putting up the camper 